back to my channel. My name is Barbie Markey and I'm a personal trainer and group fitness instructor and I am excited to bring you another workout. So today we're going to do some abs. We're going to do a full ab routine, get that core nice and tight. We're going to target all of the abdominal muscles. So there's three different groups of abdominal muscles. You've got your obliques on the sides. You've got your transverse abdominis, which run horizontally. So any rotational movement that we do will be specifically targeting those. And then you've got the rectus abdominis, the ones that are most superficial. So the ones that you see in people that have six packs, those are the lines that you're seeing, the rectus abdominals. So anytime you're doing crunching or flexing of the spine, those are the muscles that you're working. So you're not gonna need a lot of equipment. We're just gonna use our body weight for most of the moves and then we are gonna need one medium to light dumbbell. So I'm gonna use an eight pound dumbbell here, but if you're a beginner, please err on the side of caution and go a little bit lighter, maybe a three or a five pound dumbbell. And if you're advanced and you'd like to kick it up a notch, feel free, 10 or 12 pounds will probably be okay. But really listen to your body, know your body and don't push it. Um, so if you've got your mat and your dumbbell, let's go. Okay, so our first move we're gonna do here is a simple plank hold. So I want you to start in a high plank, like so, so the top of a push-up position, hands right under the shoulders, everything's in alignment. So your spine's in neutral. We're gonna be holding this for 10 seconds. Breathing, pulling the belly button up to the spine engaging all the core muscles. Then we're gonna go down to a low plank on your elbows for four seconds. Then we're gonna go back up to a high plank for four seconds. Then we're gonna go back down to a low plank for four seconds. Then we go back up and rest. Beautiful guys, good job. Next, we're gonna superset that with plank up-downs. So, they look like, similar to what we just did, starting in a high plank position, down, down to your elbows, up, up. And then we're gonna reverse the side. So I just went down on my right arm. If you did that too, you're gonna go down on your left arm. Down, down, up, up, that was two. Three. Four, five, trying not to rock through the hips too much. Six, seven, and last one. And rest, beautiful guys. Okay, give your shoulders some love. Circle those shoulders up, then we're gonna go back to the top. So, eight second plank holds. And go. I'm sorry, I said eight seconds. It's a 10 second plank hold. <laughs> hold it and breathe. Then we're gonna go down to our elbows for four. Back up for four. Back down for four. Back up. And rest. Beautiful job, guys. I can really feel my core activated. And I'm even breathing heavy a little bit. Now we're gonna go back to those plank up downs. I'm gonna change my position here. So going from the high plank to the low plank. Eight times. Trying to switch which arm goes down each time. So if you go down with your right first, switch it to the left, right, left alternate. If that's too much to think about right now, just get down to that low plank and press back up to that high plank. Ready. We got one, two, three, four, four more, five, Here, 
we're gonna go for three full rounds of all this good ab work. Okay, let's get to it. Finish off with our last set of a plank hold. 10 seconds and go. So we're just holding this. Whenever you're holding an isometric movement, you really wanna focus on the breath. Deep inhale, deep exhale. Then we're gonna go down to our low plank for four, three, two, and up for four, three, two, and down for four, three, two, and up for four, three, two, and a rest. Beautiful, guys. I hope you're feeling this as much as I am. I really feel those abdominals being activated. And given I'm talking, but your heart rate should be up a little bit too. Let's turn this on and see what my heart rate really is. <laughs> All right, now we've got those plank up downs for eight reps. Last time through, guys. Ready? Set and down. Two. Three. You with me? Four. Five. Six. Seven. And eight. Press it back up. And rest. Nice job, guys. Shoulders, wrists, give them some love, circle them around. Grab some water if you need it. Then we're headed on to our next exercise. Okay, move three. So we've got the plank hold that we already did, and we've got those plank up downs that we did. Move three is gonna deal with our legs. So we're in a plank again. <laughs> Lots of legs today. On our elbows. And then we're gonna use our right leg to lift, squeeze the glutes out to the side. Two, reach. Three, we've got eight of these. Four, five, six, seven, one more, eight, and reach. Good work. Give your shoulders some love. Rest a sec, and then we're gonna go back to our other side. Let me move around here. Better angle. All right, back up into that plank. Four, eight, whoop, seven, six, five, four, three. Keep those butts down. Two, last one, reach, and rest. Whoop! I really feel that in my glutes too. So while you're raising the back leg up, you really want to squeeze that glute. So we're activating the glutes as well as working the core. So the shoulders should be on fire. The core is obviously on fire. We've already been warming that up. And now we're adding the legs into it. So we've got that glute raise, squeeze the glute at the top, and then side leg abduction. So you're actually getting the side of the hips involved. So this is a total body exercise, guys. So many benefits. All right, who's ready for round two? Back in that low plank. Right leg. Set and go. We got one. Reach. Squeeze. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. And eight. And rest. Good work. I also really feel that left leg working while you're stabilizing in that plank. Your one leg's only on the ground, so that one quad, glute, and hamstring are all seriously working to support your body as your other leg's moving around. Love to feel those muscles working. <laughs> all right, back for the left side. Here we go. Eight. Seven, squeeze that glute. Six, five, four, three, two, last one. Squeeze and reach and 
to rest. Beautiful stretch back if you need to. Stretch out those glutes. Nice long stretch through the back. In between sets. I really hear my breath, but it says I'm only at 86 beats per minute. I don't know. Heart rate. I don't know how accurate that is. I feel out of breath already. Maybe I'm talking too much. Okay, last time guys, third time's a charm. Let's do it. Back in that low plank. Up. And here we go. One. Two. Three. I really feel like this side is a little easier for me. Four. What about you? Five. We all have one side that's a little more dominant. Two more. Seven. Woo! Eight. And rest. Good work. Woo! My shoulders are feeling it. All right, other side. Last time through this one. Low plank, glute lift. Up and out. Here we go. Last time, go. One, two, three, four. Much 
harder for me. Getting tired. Nine. Who's with me? Ten. Two more. Make sure you're breathing. Beautiful. Good job, guys. All right. Back to that other side. Okay. Elbow right under the shoulder. Stacked. Structurally sound. Hips up. And we reach. And we rotate. Two. Three. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale on the open. Exhale on the rotate. Five.
Woo! Okay, I'm folding my mat. And then we're gonna go back to those hip taps. Last time. Who's with me? <laughs> Lift. One, two, three, four, five, six. Nice and strong. Seven. Last set. Eight, nine, ten. 11, up, 12, woo! Good work. That was better with the mat rolled. So if your elbow's hurting, roll that mat. Okay. Last set of the hip taps. Here we go. One, two, so much stronger on this side. Three, it's amazing. Four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12, woo! Feel the burn. All right, last move. Flip it around, plank, side plank reach through. Let's use that padding. <laughs> last time, guys, here we go. One, reach, two, three, smile. You're working out. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, woo, ten, eleven, and twelve. Beautiful. One more side. Feeling those burn, feeling those muscles burn. It's such a good feeling, right? Open. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. 10, 11, last one, inhale, exhale, release. Good job, guys. Woo. Grab some water if you need it, and then grab your dumbbell. Okay, I've got my eight pound dumbbell here. We're gonna flip over. We're done with the planks. <laughs> We're gonna sit on our bum. We're gonna start up nice and tall, so seated, back nice and straight, and then we're gonna slowly, slowly, eight, seven, six, five, so we're gonna take eight seconds to lean back, you get the picture? Once we're back there, kind of in this C-sit position, about 45 degree angle, then we're gonna do 10 Russian twists from side to side, dumbbell twisties, side to side, okay? You ready? Stretch out my glutes a little bit. Whew. Okay. Sitting up nice and tall. Here we go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Woo, beautiful. Give yourself a little rest, a little stretch. I like to stretch out my hip flexors because when you're in this position, your hip flexors, which are connected to your abdominal muscles and your quads are working as well. So you might feel those tense up a little bit. That's okay. We're getting the benefit of working them, but they're not the primary movers. So I like to kind of give us a little rest in between. And then we go round two. Here we go. Uh, I didn't say it before, but you can lift your feet off the ground. That's gonna help. That's gonna make it a little bit harder. If you want to help stabilize a little bit, keep your heels on the ground. Okay, here we go. We got eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, woo, and breathe. Do 
about a 15 second rest in between. And then we go for our last round, round three. How you feeling? Are those abs alive? Talking to you, letting you know that they are there and they are strong, they're getting stronger. Okay, sitting up nice and tall guys, last set for this little combo. Eight seconds, here we go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and we twist. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Woo! Okay, that's an ab burner. On to the next combo. Okay, so get your dumbbell out of the way. We're not gonna need any equipment for this next little triplet. So we're gonna do three moves in succession. Your first move is going to be, they're all, all actually gonna be from your back. So you're gonna wanna lie back, flat on the ground, and then we're gonna lift your legs straight up to the ceiling. So nice straight legs, okay? Then we're going to reach, lift the hips off the ground, and push. So it's a hip lift, lift, and push, okay? So you're trying to get those legs horizontal with the floor. Are you ready? We're gonna do eight, like that. Legs up, and go. One, two, beautiful, three, Woo. four, five, if you need help stabilizing, you can plant your hands under your bum. Six. Last one. Eight. Beautiful, hug those knees in. Give your abs a rest. And then we're gonna go back to the straight legs. So straight legs up in the air. Again, if you need a little support on your lower back, if this is straining your lower back, that just means your abs are not strong enough to do <laughs> this yet. So give your back some support so it doesn't take over under your lower hips, your glutes. And then we're gonna do hip raises to the ceiling. We've got 10, so we're just gonna lift and lower. Lift and lower. Are you ready? Set, go. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, good work. Hug those knees in, give those abs a little rest, in the back a little massage. And then we're gonna go to our third move. This time we're gonna lift our shoulders off the ground, extending one leg straight, hugging the other knee into the chest. We're gonna do eight on each side, okay? So we're gonna switch as we hold, just for a second or two here. And then we switch, okay. Woo! Ready. Set. Here we go. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Two more. Seven. Last one. Woo! All right, I feel those ab muscles working. What about you? <laughs> Are you ready for round two? Back to those straight legs to the ceiling and then pushing them straight out. We're really working those lower abdominals with those straight leg hip lifts, so really try to just lift your butt off the ground. We're not trying to rock. We don't wanna use momentum. We don't wanna rock back and forth. We really wanna focus on that mind-muscle connection with the lower abdominals as we lift, okay? Round two, let's go. Up. Push, two, push, three, good, four, five, woo, six, seven, one more, eight, good, all right, hug those knees in, take a breath, Give your abs a little second to rest. And then we're gonna go with the straight leg pulses to the ceiling. Straight legs, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
eight, nine, and 10. Beautiful. Woo, that's effective, huh? You should really feel this abdominals burning. Okay, now we lift the shoulders off the ground. We've got those bicycle hugs. Shoulders up, knees up, one leg straight. Let's go. One, two, three, four, halfway, five, six, seven, and eight. Oh my goodness, that feels so good. Woo. Give yourself a little twist, a little stretch if you'd like it. And then we've got one more set, guys. I'm so glad if you're sticking with me. This is a really great abdominal workout, targeting all the abs in your torso. Woo! Here we go, last set, best set. Give it all you got. Three, two, and blast off. One, two, the higher you get those legs off the ground, the more muscle you're recruiting with your rectus abdominis. So, pushing those legs up, this is five. Or even just a little hip lift, you can feel the difference. Seven. Eight. Nine, did we do eight or 10? Oh my goodness, we're going for a bonus. 10, woo, yes. Awesome, glad to be done with that one. That's a toughie. Okay, straight legs to the ceiling. We've got our hip straight to the ceiling, hip pulses. Ready, set, and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Woo! Hug those legs in. We've got one more move, guys. I'm so excited. We're almost done. I'm so excited if you're watching this and you're stuck with me for a very, very thorough abdominal workout. I hope you join me again for my workouts in the future. If you like this one, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more great fitness tips, health, nutrition, full days of eating, day in the life, all that good stuff from a fitness junkie. Okay, here we go. Last set, last move. You got this. Let's go. One, two, three, over halfway. Woo! Cruise it on home. Six, last one. One more for a bonus. Maybe one more. And rest. Awesome job, guys. Woo! What I really like to do after doing a tough ab workout is just kind of lay flat on the ground, legs straight, arms overhead, and just really get a nice good stretch. So really make yourself as long as possible. Take a deep breath. Nice big exhale. Feeling all of that hard work that those muscles just did. Beautiful, bring the hands in. We're gonna flip over to our tummies and just give a nice little stretch for our abdominal muscles. So all the way down, I'm gonna kinda come into a little sphinx pose here. Lifting the head, keeping the shoulders down, keeping the neck nice and long. Deep exhale here. And then push it back into a child's pose, just to kind of signal that we are finished and we're stretched and we feel so good for having done that workout. Good job, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And if you like this workout, please comment below. Tell me you'd like to see more of this kind of workout, maybe more abs, more legs, more upper body, whatever you prefer. But lots of workouts coming your way. Thank you so much for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.